Hi everyone, I'm back. I'm getting addicted to uh, making videos. I guess it's a little early to say addicted since this is my only second one. Only my second one. Um, but I'm starting simple. So I just wanted to show how to make um, a glitter tattoo. And let me tell you, my six year old can do a glitter tattoo just as well as I can. So it's so easy to do. Unless you're free handing them, which I haven't yet, but um, I've watched and it's awesome. But I'm not going to show you free handing one, sorry. Um, you can buy the stencils, I think that's what they're called. Here's one that's a frog. And um, I have bought mine at American Body Art. It's American with a K. That's where I also got my glitter. Um, I bought it as a set. Also, sillyfarm.com carries them. Silly Farm is a wonderfully awesome and addictive site. <laughs> Be careful when you go there if you haven't been there yet. Um, I bought uh, in my kit, it came with a whole selection of tattoos and I put them in this little um, this little filing thing here that has index cards inside and then what I did was I filed them, like I labeled them, see this one here see if it will show up. It says hibiscus and in front will be all my um, whoops that's my frog ones. My hibiscus will be right behind so that way I can find them quickly. I let the kids leaf through them. They So far they haven't made a mess of them. So I just uh, show you a quick froggy. First thing you need is to tell you the truth I don't know why it has to be 99 percent isopropyl alcohol what you can get in the store I think is 90% in the pharmacy. Um, it's a good question for me to ask somebody why 99%. This I also got as part of my kit. Um, here's a little bottle right here. Um, but I also just ordered it, special army, special um, order from the local pharmacy. And it's nice and cheap if you do it that way. I think I ordered a 10 ounce bottle. So first thing you do is to, to clean the skin, prep it. I have my bottle. Oh, I just poured the whole thing all over myself. <laughs> That's not a good way to start. So you need cotton balls, or I suppose you could do it with something other than a cotton ball. Cotton balls are, are the easiest, so I just have a big box of cotton balls. Oh, there's a nice aroma here now. Swipe the skin on the area you're going to stick your stencil. So there you go with that. Hopefully my dining room table will look the same in an hour. Um, then what you're going to do is there's different layers on here. There's a top clear layer. Sometimes they're hard to pry up. And there's a bottom white kind of thicker layer here. And then the black in between is what you're going to use. So you're going to peel off actually the back white. You're going to stick it on the skin right where you went and swiped. Smooth it out. And then you're going to see there's a little tab up here. You're going to peel it back. The covering. Okay. Now it's ready for your glue. The glue also came in my kit. I have a, a bottle of it. I think it's a two or four ounce bottle, but it also my kit also came with um, looks like a little mascara or lip gloss container. So then you're gonna dab on your glue. So I need to refill there, but the glue is white, as you can see. It's not just a white bottle. I'm, it shouldn't take this many applications. It's just that my app sponge applicator here is not there. Now I got more. I'm running low in this bottle, so. All right, so what you want to do, the most important part, is wait till it dries. It should only take, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds when it's dry, it'll be very tacky. It won't look white anymore. That's how you'll know it's ready to go. So I'm going to wait a few seconds. 
um, before I put on the glitter. Uh, if you're going to freehand, I got this, I forget where I got it, but this little um, cup. I'm not sure what it's normal. It's like a little shot glass, but it's too small. It's not a, it's not a shot glass. Uh, you could pour your body glue in there, and then I think they're called Taclon brushes. I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce it. They're special brushes, brushes you would use if you're going to freehand a tattoo. And then this will be easy enough to cl clean out with your alcohol. That I have not yet used. All right, it's just about done. If it's not um, fully, if it's, you still see white spots from the glue, your glitter is not going to stick. So. In the package I got, I think I got about 12 glitters. So here's a couple different colors. Here's how they look. They're poof ones. Take off the top and it's ready to poof right over. Put down a towel or something. If you're doing it in, the, in somebody's house, you're going to have glitter all over the floor. So I have actually a big black towel that I put down. Normally you would hold the arm uh, parallel to the floor, but actually I don't want to be too close to my computer. You're just going to start poofing your glitter around. I'm going to put on another color, which is like a fuchsia. Um, this, some of them come out faster than others, I found. There's another one gold or yellow. Okay. Then I just kind of press it in, rub it around a little bit. If you just want it to go in certain spots, you can do that. I just made mine all mixed. Then there's a little brush. Uh, let me grab it. That you this came with my packet. You're, you brush the gl excess glitter off. And then all you do is peel off the black, which is very easy. And you're left with the cutest little glitter tattoo. It doesn't even do it justice, as I could see on this camera, but it is so easy. They last, with my kids, the last, um, gosh, they last pretty good for five to seven days if they don't wash and rub right over it with in the shower or the tub. Um, they can go in the pool in it. They can get it wet. So it, it, what makes it come off is friction. So if in the wintertime, if they have their sleeve pulled down or their pants pulled down over it, it will come off more quickly. Um, the way to get it off you can tell parents is with rubbing alcohol. I also heard baby oil rubbed on it will take it off. I've used the 90% to rub it off and it works. It might work a little bit slower than the 99% in terms of removing it, but it shouldn't. It just takes a few swipes with the 99% uh, isopropyl alcohol to get it off. So here's my leftover that's got glitter all um, around the edges. I don't reuse them because uh, this one came out okay. This looks actually pretty reusable. But they usually don't end up looking so nice when you're done with them and I don't find them to work real great. I've heard some people get two to three uses out of them. So I'd go for it and try it. But So I stuck it back on the white. And you can hear this clear plastic is sticky. I'll stick it back on the top and reuse it perhaps. This one looks pretty decent. It's curling right up off of the white though, so if you were to reuse it, you'd have to reuse it in in that setting. Not for another day, I would think. Although, I'm sure somebody's found a way to make them last longer. Um, and what else can I say? I think that's it for glitter tattoos. Alright, bye.